the magicians in life. Tag him and bag him. I'll deal with him later at the morgue, said the coroner of police to his assistant Dante on the crime scene. Dante put the body of Jason Archer in a body bag and put a tag with his name on his toe. Daddy's home, sang young Sammy Archer a week earlier. Seeing Jason Archer returning home from work and seeing her, he brightened up. She ran up to him, hugging him. Hi, honey, said his wife, smiling. Hi, Ricky, Archer said to his wife, smiling. Hello, Sammy, he said to his daughter. He lifted up and swirled around. Little Sammy giggled happily. He put her down, walked to his wife, kissing her. I missed you two a lot, said Archer, who had been on a work trip for a week. Later, when he and his wife were alone, she had some good news for him. She was going to have a baby again. So happy he kissed her. He spoke to the baby growing inside her. His baby. This house will be too small for us. With a little one, said Archer. I'll try for a raise at work so we can get us a new home. Are you sure? asked Ricky. Yes, said Archer. Next morning, Archer had a spring in his step as he greeted his boss Lando King, hoping for a raise. And high on the knowledge he was going to be a father again. Hello, Mr. King, said Archer, entering his boss's office. Trent Lance, the son of the coroner, watched him from outside. He saw him turn from hopeful and confident to desperate and sad as he spoke to their boss. And spoke to him at lunch. He was all right. I saw you talking to Lando in his office before. He looked devastated. I asked him for a raise. Said Archer. Why would you want to do that? You'd be more likely to get blood from a stone. Said Lance. He's more of a miser than open he's a Scrooge. I needed the money. I'm going to move. Into a dear house, said Archer. Whatever for? You love your home, said Lance. I'm going to be a father again, said Archer. Oh, congratulations. Jess, said Lance, happy to hear the good news. I need more room for my growing family, said Archer. I see, said Lance. I'll have to. Get a second job, said Archer. Two nights later, Archer sat doing his new night job as a security guard at a bank. He was nervous as it was his first night at work. I don't like guns, said Archer to his new colleague John. They are just for looks. It's doubtful we'll ever have to use them, said John. They still make me nervous, said Archer. You'll be fine. Who draw a bank, said John, laughing. The next day Archer was falling asleep at his day job. Hey, Jace. Wake up, said Lance, shaking the sleeping Archer's shoulder. What, what, oh, you, Lance, was I asleep? asked Archer. This isn't going to end well. You falling asleep at work, if Lando catches you, said Lance. 
Lance was right. Lando caught him sleeping at his desk the next day and sacked him on the spot. Lando then had to tell his wife he had lost his job. They couldn't afford the rent on their house. They moved him with his parents and he got a day shift at the bank on security duty. He no longer saw his family. He was working for 48 hours to get more money so they didn't have to live with his parents. On his second day shift, a man walked in with a gun, demanding money. I just told him to drop his gun. The robber shot him in the heart and fled. He was caught later. Later that day, the empty but for the police and the coroner's bank. I just still lay there, dead in a pool of blood. And the coroner, who stared by the indignity of his treatment, being left there for a day, said to his assistant Dante, Take him and bag him. I'll deal with him later at the morgue. Dante put the body of Jason Archer in a body bag and put a tag with his name on, on his toe. 